Okay, so this is Benjamin Franklin. A lot of people think that Benjamin Franklin was at one point the president of the United States. He never was, though he has many, many accomplishments. In fact, he is the only person to sign the following four documents. He signs the Declaration of Independence, declaring, of course, our independence from Great Britain. Fun fact, Ben Franklin's illegitimate son, William, is the governor of New Jersey at the time, and he will remain loyal to the British crown, so him and Ben Franklin have a huge falling out. He signs the Treaties of Amity and Commerce, which makes the French recognize the 13 colonies as now a united and independent nation. Pictured there is Ben Franklin's signature on the Treaty of Paris in 1783, which officially ends the American War of Independence. And lastly, Ben Franklin, at the ripe old age of 81, will sign the United States Constitution. He does so with tears streaming down his face, and he's the oldest person to sign the document. Backtracking a bit, Ben Franklin was born in Boston in the year 1706, spends a handful of years there. He actually works under a printing press that was owned by his older brother. Here, Franklin actually has a pseudonym called Silence Do Good, in which case he writes just about daily lives as a widowed woman in Boston. He actually receives a handful of wedding invitations. People want to marry this person. That is until Ben Franklin officially gives up his true identity. His brother's a little bit jealous on that. And from there, Ben Franklin is going to leave Boston, moving to Philadelphia, where he's going to gain national prominence. It should be noted that Ben Franklin himself didn't invent electricity. The story of the key and the kite is true, and from this experiment you have inventions like the lightning rod. I also should point out in this picture that is William, his illegitimate son. He's the one that's going to be loyal to the British crown as governor of New Jersey during the American Revolutionary War. This is the schedule that Ben Franklin used to use every day. Unrelated to this, but Ben Franklin is in the International Swimming Hall of Fame. Growing up along the Charles River in Boston, he was known to swimming often. He actually invented little paddles to help him swim quicker. Also, while he spent some time in England, he was known to swim in various different rivers and claimed that it was very good for one's health. Pictured here is an older Ben Franklin, but it should be noted that he also helps invent the bifocals because he was sick of taking his glasses on and off while street. Going back to the Declaration of Independence, Ben Franklin wasn't allowed to write it by Congress because they thought he was going to hide too many jokes in it. Also, at this point, Franklin had spent considerable amount of time in London, and people actually thought he was a British spy. Franklin had to go and publicly announce that he was very much pro for independence. Before dying, Ben Franklin left $2,000 to the cities of both Boston and Philadelphia under the promise that the money wouldn't be used for another 200 years. The sums of those money is well over $6 million in today's cash. Though Franklin only had about two years of formal schooling, he does attend the Boston Latin School, which by the way is still around today and is the oldest school of any kind in the United States. When Ben Franklin is older, he goes ahead and founds the University of Pennsylvania. The coat of arms here actually has some of Ben Franklin's actual coat of arms along with this. But per always, I'm running out of time. Ben Franklin is a very unique historical figure. I recommend looking him up. There's plenty of cool YouTube videos as always, but I hope you learned something per always. Love you all.